Amen, amen, amen. Welcome to this morning's session of prayer and devotion. Thank you so much for joining us. This week, our focus has been on the fear of the Lord. And today we are on day three. And we are, we are calling it Attaining Wisdom. Our anchor verse is coming from Job chapter 28, verse 28. And it says, And he said to the human race, The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to shun evil is understanding. Having fear of the Lord, of course, is a term that many people, we've had a, a lot. Have the having fear of the Lord. What does it mean? Having fear of the Lord means to have a deep sense of the knowledge of God's character of holiness. And what causes us to agree in our hearts to fear God is the love we have towards him. So basically, um, having the fear of the Lord causes our minds and realities to be aligned with the kingdom realities and the holiness of our Father, which is true wisdom. Can I repeat that? Having the fear of the Lord causes our minds and realities to be aligned with kingdom realities and the holiness of our Father, which is true wisdom. A lot is revealed to those that seek the Lord with all their hearts and being. So friend, you're out there and you're wondering, how do I attain this wisdom? Attaining wisdom begins with the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is aligning ourselves, watching our characters, watching our traits, watching our habits to be in line with the word of God. This we can do by constantly being intentional about our habits, being intentional about reading the word of God and being intentional with fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we are grateful for this morning that you've given us. Thank you, Lord God, that you've said in your word in Job, Job chapter 28, verse 28, that you say to man that behold the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to turn away from evil is understanding. Lord God, open our minds, open our minds to be able to attain this wisdom that you so freely give and you so freely offer to us this morning. Help us, Lord, to be aligned to you, O oh God, that in our fear, O oh Lord, we will not fear human beings, O oh God, but we will only have fear for you. We will only have reverence for you, my Father. That, Lord God, once you align our minds with your kingdom, once we align our minds with the power of the Holy Spirit, we are able to attain the wisdom that only comes from you. And that wisdom is able to help us to live everyday life, our everyday lives, oh God, as better Christians, oh God, as children truly after your heart, my Father. That Lord God, even as we seek you, as we seek you, may we seek you with an understanding of who you are, oh God, and not just seek you for the things that you offer, oh God. Help us to be aligned with your kingdom, oh God, and the things of the kingdom, oh God. For Father, you say indeed in your word that seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these other things will be added unto you. Father, even as you choose this morning to obtain this fear, to walk in the fear of the Lord, help us, my Father, Pour your wisdom unto us that even as we choose this morning to fear you in everything that we do, O oh God, in every step of our way, O oh, oh my Father, for those of us who are staying at home, for those of us who are going to work, for those of us, my Father, who are going to our various businesses, for those of us, my Father, who do not have jobs, my God, I pray that, Lord God, would we align ourselves with your fear, my Father, so that in that way we are able to attain the wisdom that you so freely give and you so freely offer. I thank you, my Father, that this morning we will go and walk in the fear of the Lord, for that is the way that we will attain your wisdom. In Jesus' name we've prayed, amen and amen. Go out there and attain the wisdom of God through having fear of our Lord. Bye.